Hello my lovelies, fire signs, let's see what's happening for you in your next seven days. Hopefully you survived last night's full moon in Capricorn. Happy Monday, let's see what do we need to know for Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. The Magician, so you are manifesting or creating something in your life that is brand new. Don't worry, you have all of the tools at your disposal, but you also have to keep your intentions set on what it is that you desire. So keep manifesting, do it from a positive place of thinking. Remember the words abracadabra, as I speak it, I create it. That is literally what it translates to. Might be going towards some worry about finances. I feel like it will be getting better. Maybe there's something going on with a job I feel like if it's just not the right fit for you you need to make adjustments right you need to move in a new direction what else do they need to know Aries Sag and Leo Mm. I feel like you're going towards a someone. So this won't resonate for everybody. Always take what fits, leave the rest. The Queen of Cups is somebody who's very nurturing. She's an empathetic person. She's a mother figure. She's somebody who will literally give you the shirt off their back. But she's also a fierce protector of those you, that she loves. And so I feel like there could be some obstacles for you and this person. What else is going on? Could be financial obstacles in order for you guys to come together. What else? Do we need to know? Mm, there could be lots of options. Maybe you feel like this person has options and maybe that's what worries you. I get the sincere feeling that somebody feels like they're inadequate, like they don't measure up for this person. I feel like uh, if you're really dealing with the Queen of Cups, she just wants somebody who's genuine. She doesn't want somebody who's fake and phony. She just wants you to be real. What else do we need to know? Mm -hmm. It's time to shift your perspective. The monetary stuff doesn't matter to this person. I do feel like there is a new opportunity that brings in abundance for you guys if you're willing to take a leap of faith. So are you is the real question. Are you willing to do that? You're going to need to gather your courage in order to transform this energy and take action where it's needed. I feel like your head is what's kind of ruling that things aren't going forward right now. And there could be somebody else in the mix. I do feel like this person is um, kind of a tyrant. And I feel like if the Queen of Cups is dealing with this air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that is somebody that's very oppressive, somebody that's very harsh, somebody that's very analytical, they don't really mesh well. And and so that person might also be looking for a new opportunity. Yeah, getting rid of the conflict and chaos and going towards peace and somebody's facing judgment. I did a reading last week that judgment was coming out and somebody's definitely facing that. So if it's you, if it's them, let's see what signs we need to not ignore in the next seven days. What do we need to see the next seven days? <clears throat> Aries, Sag, and Leo, what do they need to see the next seven days? The key, interesting. So you might hold the key for all of these things to change. There's movement of a house, a job, relationship, and entering a new phase. So keys, ooh, it could be time to cut the cord somewhere. Really, really cut what does not serve you out of your life, no matter what it is, whether it's jobs, relationships, whatever, and the melody. So music is definitely important. Creating a pleasing sound and singing it out loud and labels. So somebody's wondering, what are we? Lots of questions. Questions, questioning everything and needing some answers. Are you stalking this person? Are you the creepy voyeur that's like a peeping Tom, stalking, watching, and obsessively thinking? All right, who is this person that's coming into your life? Letter J, A, Y, Z, Jay-Z. Are you entering into a relationship with Jay-Z? No, you're not. Cut it out. All right. Don't be the stalker online. I feel like you need to actually try and approach this person. Could be wearing jeans, t-shirts, and sweatpants when you're not working or doing other things. Someone has facial piercings. T. Leo or a fire sign. Social media creator could be the husband that's maybe in the way. I feel like I feel like there is strongly a third party in this situation. And I feel like that is the disruption, right? So you're having to watch from the distance or from the sidelines because there's somebody else in the mix, whether they're married, whether they're just dating somebody. But I feel like there is somebody else in the mix. Why are you trying to be with somebody who's also with somebody else? I feel like you need to find someone who's single. Somebody that's introverted, shy, quiet, and a deep thinker, blue eyes, gamer procrastinates, unmotivated, and a dreamer, six foot tall or above, someone you haven't met yet. Do you even know this person in real life? Is this somebody that you just watch online? 
Are you really stalking them through like social media and things? You need to evaluate, is this healthy or is this an unhealthy situation? And if it's unhealthy, you've got to cut the cords. We have a non-smoker, brown hair, listens to rocker alternative, athletic builder body, owner of a small business, fashion colored hair, tattoos anywhere on the body, wealthy hard worker, baller, or a high roller, someone with red hair, Taurus or an earth sign, male, loud outspoken wife of the party, M, loves to go fishing, hiking, or camping, brown eyes, your crush. Have a good week. We'll see you soon.